Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you the best Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 optimization pack with all the most important programs to make sure that your PC is running at 100% and you'll be getting those high FPS numbers. If you guys want to support my work, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and those are all the programs I want to show you in today's video. We got Check Disk, MemTest, Memory Duck, Timer Set Resolution, FM Priority and Cleaner. And as mentioned, you can get all of these programs on my Discord literally guys. I don't want to make like a full on boosting pack because not every PC is the same, not everyone has the same CPU, RAM speed and stuff like that. So please guys just keep that in mind and the first program we want to actually start here is called Check Disk and we just have to make sure to run it actually as an administrator otherwise we won't have access to actually do this here. And as you can see we see all my hard drives and SSDs on my PC. I got my main M.2 SSD here as my C drive and let's say I just want to check it for any errors you know because you just want to make sure that your Windows is running 100% that your hard drives are not damaged or they're like maybe some corrupted files which will definitely decrease the speed of your SSD and just make your games load way slower and actually reduce FPS. So therefore I'm just going to select it here and then you can see we have three types of tests. We have the standard one, the 401 and the check if dirty and I'm just going to keep it here on standard actually and I'll also put the check here on correct errors and then as you can see here I selected everything correctly and we're just going to press here on check disk. And as you can see guys, it's working here in the background actually scamming my whole entire SSD for corrupted files and stuff to replace. And yeah, there we go here. It's actually all completed successfully and our SSD, HDD or whatever you're using should be now actually with zero issues and this is just going to speed up your Windows overall and this more smoother Windows is going to mean more FPS in game actually and yeah, therefore we're just done here with this first step. And yeah guys, the next program we're actually going to talk about is called MemTest and we're just going to open this up here real quick, click on OK and what this program does is insane. It's going to check your RAM for any issues, you know, after like maybe um, corrupted files have been installed for Windows updates or stuff like that, your RAM might not work 100%. I've seen this actually already a lot, like tons of people especially on laptops who have like 4 gigs of RAM only can use like 3.86 gigs of RAM or stuff like that. So therefore with this one you can just check if it's working actually like 100% and yeah. So therefore with this program you can just check if your RAM is actually really working. And now you can see here we have to enter an amount in megabytes of RAM to test. And since we're working with megabytes we have to think about okay if we have 8 gigs of RAM that's 8000 megabytes. Um, but keep in mind guys, Windows usually utilizes between 2.5 to 3 gigs of RAM. So we can only check like 5000 megabytes if we're running 8 gigs of RAM. But since I'm running more than 8 gigs of RAM, I'm just gonna put in here 8000. But it's gonna tell you actually that this doesn't work. And here's like the tricky part about this program. You can only test 2 until like 3.5 gigs of RAM at the same time. And if you wanna actually test, let's say something like 8 gigs, you need to run this program four times with two gigs of RAM being tested. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's just say we want to test eight gigs of RAM. We're going to put in 2000, start a test here real quick. And as you can see, I just repeated this step four times in a row and it's now being checked here four times two gigs of RAM, which is going to check a total of eight gigs of RAM on our PC. And I would just recommend you to do this like every two to three months just to make sure that everything is working fine. And we're just gonna wait until this year is actually over. And with that said, we're already done here with this step. And yeah guys, for this next program, we're actually gonna take a look at CC Cleaner. And I know I already did a full on video dedicated about this program, but I just want to mention it because it's such an insane program, guys. What you can literally do here is do a full on health check of your PC. It's gonna scan everything. If you have some junk here on your PC, I don't know, some missing files, stuff like that. It's just gonna repair your Windows over all, which is just a great thing. The check disk one was just like additionally to check if your hard drive or your SSD or stuff like that are working 100%. And this one is just gonna check your whole entire system for missing data which are necessarily for Windows to run at 100%. And we're just gonna fix here all the issues guys. I already did a full on video which I'm gonna link in the description. And you simply have so many options here to also check your whole entire Windows for literally temporary data which are unwanted of course because yeah they're just gonna slow down your Windows and you can also like clean up your PC here super well in this program. Program. And I'm just gonna leave it in the description as mentioned a full-on video explaining this here step by step And now let's move over with the next program So guys and for this next step We're gonna take a look at memory duck Which is just gonna make sure that the temporary data which are saved on your RAM Which is the so-called standby list is getting clean actually and yeah The more filled up your standby list is the slower your PC is gonna run So therefore all you guys have to do is just simply click here on file and onto settings And just please make sure that under memory cleaning you have everything selected here Working set, system working set, standby list, standby list plus 
modify page and combine memory list. Just simply make sure to copy all my settings here guys. And then what I would recommend you guys under memory management is to just simply put the check here on clean when above a certain percentage and we're just gonna put in there 60%. This is like more or less like the best one you know you don't want to like spam it always because it might actually cause additional stutter or lag. So therefore just simply put it here on 60 guys and you can also put a clean every and then like a certain minute amount which could be like 30 minutes which would also work I guess. Uh, then you obviously have to disable the second check here but yeah I would just simply keep it here on 60% so I don't actually clean up my RAM when it's not needed because as mentioned it can cause some issues there and yeah then you obviously also can make like a hotkey so you can do it like every time when you realize oh my FPS are kind of low right now I just want to clean my standby list and you can do it obviously as well and as mentioned guys I have a full on tutorial about this already as well which is going to be linked in the description and yeah with that said we can just simply close this program here and now let's move over to the next one and you guys for the next program I want to show you a timer set resolution which can literally reduce your windows input delay by 50% if we just press the maximum here guys we're gonna take a look here our current resolution is on 0.500 as it should be normally if yours says something different let's say like 0 0.49 0 0.48 stuff like that guys don't be worried I show you exactly how to fix it just simply go in the description guys and I'm gonna put these two comments here on and all you guys have to do then is open up your CMD on your Windows 10 and open it up as an administrator just simply launch it and you will see this new window here and then just simply copy both of these comments here which are in the description paste them in here and you can see it's completed and then uh, just copy the next one here and also paste it in there and yeah it should be fixed by now just simply close the cmd then boys and now you can run your timer set resolution and if you now press maximum it should say exactly 0.500 and you applied this successfully. Many Fortnite players use this program actually. Tfue back on the days, Kanada, Benji Fishy, literally anyone boys. And therefore, yeah, it's 100% not bannable. And yeah, let's continue with the next step. And for the final program in today's guide, guys, I'm just gonna show you here fnhighpriority.rec. And I'm quite sure everyone knows the normal way where you can go into a task manager and set your Fortnite on high priority. You have to do it every time. It's super inconvenient and just really annoying. And therefore, I actually built up here this registry, guys, which is, by the way, also on my Discord. Everything is on my Discord you already know the vice voice and what you want to do is just simply go into edit here on your high priority thing just simply run it and just make sure that it also selected the right fortnite exit here guys yeah the fortnite client win64 shipping exit this is how it should be called and with that said what this does it's gonna set your fortnite on high priority forever literally yeah it's gonna just set it up so you don't have to do it every time you launch your windows you launch your fortnite you know it's just like super super annoying if you actually have to do it every time and this program is just gonna make it so much easier and then just simply double click onto it and run your registry guys and it's gonna say you here some additional info can un unintentionally um, change or delete the values blah 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 we actually don't have to care about this just simply press yes i'm gonna press no here because i obviously already did it and with that said we're done here with this whole entire optimization guide guys i'm super sorry if i sounded like i have literally no energy but it was so warm today it was like 28 degrees celsius here which is like 82 or something fahrenheit i don't know depending on if you're from an a and yeah it's just way too warm i i, I can't work properly if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace that shit too light. Before, oh, come get inside.